Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be setting up a couple of rigs here, running them off of this little monitor. Right now, it's loading our new 14 GPU rig, B250. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU or ASIC farm. And check out our other social media accounts like BitChute, Gab, Parlor, Minds, Twitter, Rumble, and all the other ones. All right, so today's video. I got a couple of rigs installed over there. They're gonna be running off um, just the 14 GPU B250. I got an HDMI plugged in right here. See that ASUS B250? So you follow the HDMI cable, it'll come around to this rig right here. So this one's all plugged in. So after I plug in all the GPUs and I set up the motherboard and I set up everything, the next step is to have it initialize Windows. So I have a copy of SSD, I plug it in there. It's gonna start initializing all the devices. And there's 14 GPUs, so it takes some time. We also run it off of a uh, USB Bluetooth. So I have a little USB right there plugged in. Runs off of our uh, Logitech Bluetooth and the HDMI. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'll have to wait for this thing to load up, which can take some time. You know, I was already doing this before I started the video, so at any moment, it should be ready, good to go. And here's the keyboard we use. So here's the keyboard. Here's the mouse, so these are all on. And as soon as it turns on, here, and loads Windows, I'll show you what I changed there. But for now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to actually reboot it right now because I want to uh, check that all the devices are loaded and see if there's any BIOS settings to change. I'll do that right now while we're waiting, waiting for it anyway. Probably needs a little restart. So here, I'll show you. So here it is loading. And there's all one, two, three, four, five, and five. So let's press RF2 and delete key to get into BIOS. So here is BIOS. Let's go to advanced. I think you guys can see this. So here's advanced. And then uh, we update the BIOS to the newest version. You can see it here is 2021. I'll show you some of the settings we change here. So we go to, oops, wrong button here. We go to system agent SI configuration. Go to graphics configuration. We gotta make sure that our, our iGPU is on. And then the primary display is auto. So if we wanna run Windows and the RDP and all that stuff, we wanna run it off of the CPU rather than the GPU. So we gotta enable it. Next thing we do is we go to onboard devices here. We gotta disable our HD controller. We don't need audio, so we're gonna disable that. Next one is the APW configuration. This is a restore AC power loss, so you can see it's set to power on. Once all that is set, which what it was, we're just making sure that it is. Then we're gonna save and reset. There's no changes being made, so we're gonna reset it. Now, we also check that our Tekken connection, which is our remote connection, will then be able to turn this on and off remotely. So again, it's gonna boot up BIOS. There's one, two, three, four, five, and five. So you got three power supplies. Now it's gonna start up. and Now it's gonna load from the SSD and try to get into Windows. So, like I said, this can be like right now or it can be in a couple of minutes. Anyway, we're gonna let that load. So, after, I'm actually gonna show you the Tekken device we have so here's that device this is a Tekken device so this controls the main power supply which is the one that controls the motherboard main power gives the three connections to the motherboard as well as the CPU and the RAM all that stuff so we gotta you know be able to turn that on and off whenever we need to remotely uh, restart the rig because it might freeze or it might be some kind of problem and we can't connect to it RDP so we have to remote re restart it. So we have an app, uh, the Tekken app, and then we can just turn it on and off and uh, refresh the PC like that. So what we do is once we save AC power on, you saw that in the BIOS setting, once we save that into BIOS, then, we then the BIOS uh, 
uh, the computer restarts and we got to make sure that it actually works, we take out our phone and we do a power cycle on that second device. And if it power cycles correctly, it should boot up the rig. So we turn it off and wait like eight seconds. After eight seconds, we turn it back on. And if it turns back on, then the power on, AC power on is working. So you can see here that, that it's still stuck like this. So I have to keep waiting for it. While we wait, I'm just gonna go do something else. And what I have left to do is I need to set up the rest of the GPUs that are left over. Actually, I don't need a ladder. I'll brought a lot of here, but I don't need it. Got these two empty rigs here, and I just got a couple of GPUs left. So I'm gonna plug those guys in. So you can only, you see there's only four of them, so. Next shipment of GPU should come in about a week or two. So that's when we can really fill up the rest of these empty slots here. You now it's really annoying putting this. All right. Now the reason why these are empty is that we had to move this rig to a different location. So once we moved it over there, we freed up some space for our other client. And so that other client's taking over this, this spot over here. Actually the rest of these rigs here. All right, now let's plug in our power. It's nice that there's exactly four GPUs. So that allows us to only power on one PSU. And plus it's a lot faster obviously when the rigs are already preset. We just had to move the GPUs. So now that the GPUs are gone, these are a lot faster to look to plug them in. Just a couple of plugs and that's it. All the USBs are already done. And so on. Alright, that's All right, now let's double check this stuff's all plugged in properly. So running off the front of SSD off of this CPU, and then it's running these VGA cables here. These VGA cables belong over here. Same with the SATA risers. Got our new SSD, it's not plugged in. I'm gonna plug this guy in. Plug in the SATA. All right, so that's all good. This should all be fine. Uh, like I said, this is from previously working rig. So that's all good. Now I just gotta turn it off. Our two power supplies we're not gonna use for now. That's all good, turn on this guy. Power's on, everything's good. On it goes. So that's fast. See how fast that is? It's a lot faster when you already have everything set. Now let's actually go take a look at this. Well, it's still loading. It didn't freeze. That's just how it loads. It's really hard for Windows to load up 14 GPUs at the same time. So Windows is having a 
a hard time doing that as well as the CPU and then the uh, the uh, what's it called the um, CPU oh it just flew out of my head what's it called this little silver thing if you see it you pointing out my finger what's it called a chipset a chipset yeah it's got to load the chipset all right well what else can I uh, show you guys around here? I was going to show you what I do in Windows, but it's not loading for now. So anyway, once I get this guy up and going, this one's next and then this one's next to the top. So they're all installed. I just got to boot into Windows, change the name, change the username, uh, rename the PC, and then uh, change the information for G minor, and then boot it up. So these three are ready to go. I just need a get into Windows and make it happen. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do, like, subscribe, bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for GPU or ASIC mining. We provide our clients the opportunity to build out small little one rig GPU farm for themselves and continue as they want to but get more and more rigs if they want to continue that way or if you're looking for huge GPU farms we offer that as well as huge ASIC farms. Well, that's going to be it for this video and until next time, bye.